Hello, I'm Lonnie Dupree. Um, um, I'm a sponsored athlete, athlete of Granite Gear, have been for the last 25 years. I'm at the uh, outdoor retail show in Salt Lake City. I just got back from uh, the first solo January ascent of Denali. I've, I've been trying to do a solo for the past four years, and the first three attempts I got close within a few hours of the summit. But uh, weather windows uh, just never prevailed, and I and I and I didn't make it. But the expedition is very significant because there's been uh, only 16 uh, expeditions that has ever climbed Denali in winter. Of the 16 folks that actually climbed, six perished on the way down. So it was a very dangerous, it's a very dangerous undertaking. And uh, the weather gods happened to be with me this year, and I I, I creeped up to the summit January 11th after nine hours of climbing. <laughs> Um, it was, uh, I was very emotional uh, upon reaching the summit because uh, four years of really super hard work. Of all the tries I've done on uh, Denali, the last four, uh, this year was successful, but I've totaled over 80 days on uh, Denali between uh, December and February. So the specific pack that I chose for Denali this year was Nimbus Trace 70. And that gave me just the right amount of room for tent, sleeping bags, five days food, five days fuel. And then I had room for my um, uh, Z-Rest uh, ground pads on the sides. I tucked my tent under the lid. And then I had room for my shovels, snow saw, uh, bamboo wands on the, back of the, on the back of the bag. And then uh, what, what, I, what I really liked about this Nimbus Trace is I didn't have to unload the entire uh, backpack to get to the heavier parts of the the pack that I, I put on the bottom. So I can I can reach into the zipper compartment here and I can grab a fuel a fuel canister or some food just for the day and then I can close it back up instead of trying to dig everything out of the top while I'm on a very steep ridge and having the potential of losing some very key equipment. Right so. Uh, I really love this feature and they're using really super heavy duty YKK zippers on that and then it's secured with another piece of Velcro right there. So a very secure uh, way uh, uh, system to get into the bottom of your pack. I got uh, two loops uh, on the bottom to secure my ice axis. I got some pockets on the sides here to put my uh, energy bars. Um, I also got uh, very high, uh, very good straps on the on the hip belt very very durable and this I did myself and these are some uh, I just put this um, this rope and carabiner on both sides of my hip belt that I just tied right into the webbing that used to pull my sled my sled's 190 pounds and I did this for 29 days and look not even a little the stitching held completely it's like brand new still so I've done some serious pulling on this hip belt. And there's absolutely no, no, uh, no damage to the hip belt at all. Make sure the hip belt is contoured like this so it's not slipping down around your waist. A buckle system that when you pull it tight, it stays tight. Those kind of things. Um, and then having an integral uh, wooden uh, laminated sheet in the back where you can adjust for size really super easy. Uh, in, in very small increments along the back. We're always fine tuning our packs and, uh, and redefining them so they're the best uh, packs on the market.